Hi everyone, I'm Maggie Weldon from Maggie'sCrochet.com and in this series of videos we're going to show you how to make beautiful, super quick and easy necklaces by just chaining with the different varieties of yarn. So this um, necklace that you see here was an entire skein of City Life yarn by Premier and we actually, Han Yeti, chained the entire skein of yarn. And then um, we're going to go to a close up and show you how to make all of these. But this one on close up will just show you how to wind it around and then you make like a little knot around the wad of um, strands. And you can make this as long as you want. You can make shorter ones, longer ones and mix it all up. So um, that's that one. The other necklace that we're going to show you with City Life is this one and it's just a chain and then you do these little loop bunches here and you can do as many of those as you want and you can make this as long as you want and this could um, like wrap around many times and so it makes a nice addition to your wardrobe and they make great gifts too. So this one is the Starbella Lace, which is typically a ruffling scarf yarn, but when you chain it, it looks kind of cool like this. And you could do multiple types of yarns or multiple lengths of the same yarn and, you know, just use your imagination. This one I'm um, pretty sure is the um, Mary Maxim ruffling yarn. And then this one is one of the other uh, ribbon yarns. And then this one is um, Starry Night by Premier. And this is beautiful. You can make it, if you make them super long, you can just keep wrapping them. And then this one is a braided um, yarn by Red Heart. And uh, so anyway, everything will be explained in a close up. And there's links to everything listed below. Please subscribe to our channel and thank you very much for watching. Hey everybody, it's Christina from Maggie's Crochet and today I'm going to show you how to make um, a beautiful necklace using City Life yarn from Premier Yarns. This particular color is called Shell Games. It's a nice combination of greens and yellows and uh, blues. So today we'll be, uh, all you've got to do is just chain. Um, start with your slip knot and then you're just going to chain. I've done most of my little section here. Now this particular strand I'm working with is going to end up being about uh, five yards long when I'm done chaining. Um, and we're going to loop that around several times to create our necklace. Now I do have another bit of yarn. Let me show you. This is a whole skein of City Life yarn and we've just chained it and wrapped it around this to keep it uh, from getting tangled. So I'm going to finish chaining this shorter length and then I'm going to zoom out a little bit and show you the difference between this uh, five yard version that's going to wrap around, I don't know, maybe five or six times. We'll see exactly how many it wraps around and then how many times the uh, version with the full skein of yarn, how many times that will wrap around and what that looks like. So you'll just want to make sure you leave about a six inch tail. That's a little short. So I'm going to undo a few stitches and just finish off your yarn. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit and then I will show you how to drape this. So this is the necklace made out of the entire skein of yarn. As you can see there's quite a lot of volume to it. Uh, you've got a lot of strands here. Um, now you can wrap this to be any length you want. If you happen to like this length though, let me tell you my little trip to uh, get this length out of your necklace. Uh, you know how you will sometimes take rope or a power cord and wrap it from your hand down to around your elbow? That's just what I did with this chain. Uh, make sure you don't pull it too tight. You want it to be kind of loosely wrapped around your elbow. But that gives you this nice length that comes right down, uh, right below your collarbone. And then I did the same thing with my shorter strand, the one that's only about 15 feet long in total. And on both of these, what you'll do after you finish wrapping it is just take those loose ends and tie it uh, in a nice little knot around all your strands to hold them together. So I wrapped this one in the same way, wrapping it around my elbow like you would a rope or uh, perhaps an extension cord. But this one, as you can see, is not nearly as many strands. Uh, it's a little not quite as uh, 
a little more understated. So those are your options. Um, just pick the one that's most like you, or you could go somewhere in between, or you could even do fewer strands than this. It is totally up to you. Well, guys, I hope you found this video helpful. If you've got any questions about this project, you can certainly ask them down in the comments. We'll do our best to help you out. And down in the description, you'll find the links to everything you need for this project. Thanks for watching. So I'm going from this side to that side, and I'm going to pick up my yarn and draw that up and then finish my double crochet like so if you do let's say i've seen scarves made with only pulling five loops through and they look amazing they're really cute they come out